Hey guys, this is Natasha from North Strong Frenchies. Just wanted to pop on real quick and talk about fading puppies. Um, I know a lot of people are having litters right now. I know we have a lot of newer breeders entering into, you know, the breeding world. Um, fading puppies is something that typically happens during the first few days to the first week. Um, typically from what I've seen in my 13 years. Um, sometimes there's a known cause. Sometimes there's, it's just nobody knows why. Um, puppies are fine one minute and then the next minute they're not. Um, the first thing you do is make sure that those puppies are warm. Um, a cold puppy will kill a puppy. Um, so make sure that they're warm during that first week. They should be in the mid to upper 80s. Um, as far as temperature goes, make sure that you have a thermometer. So you're watching the area, monitoring wherever you're keeping your puppies to make sure that they are, in fact, kept warm. Um, the first sign um, for me that a puppy is um, not doing well is that they're more tired, they're more sluggish. Um, they may start out, it's time to feed them. You put them all on the nipple, they start out doing very, very well, and this puppy pops off within the first minute, first two minutes. Um, you're paying attention to your litter, so you notice like how long it's taking them to eat. And if all of a sudden you have a puppy that's done before everybody else, um, and then you try to change nipples, switch nipples, and the puppy just ha is no interest. To me, that's the first sign, uh-oh, I need to watch this puppy. Um, my go-to for sluggish puppies or failing puppies is always fading puppy support. Um, there's lots of probiotics in there for the gut. There's lots of electrolytes in there. Um, there's a little calories and whatnot in there. I always mix this with my high calorie formula that I also keep on hand just in case. Um, so I'll mix that and this, and then I will tube feed. I have my, my kit. You guys can get them on Amazon. You can get them from your vet. Um, there's all kinds of videos on the internet on how to tube feed a puppy. If a puppy is sluggish and does not want to eat, I will not syringe feed it. I will not sponge feed it. I will not try to bottle feed it. That's aspiration um, waiting to happen. Um, if it's not swallowing, okay, guys, you do not want to put liquid into a mouth of a puppy that's not trying to swallow anything. So my go-to, and again, I've been doing this 13 years. I'm not a vet. I'm just a person that um, studies this and has been doing this for 13 years. And this is what we do in our program. Um, so if you are unsure, you guys can go to my Amazon um, page. I have an Amazon storefront, North Strong Frenchies, and you can get one of these kits. You can get this fading puppy support, which we've used for years. You can get the high calorie formula, which I've used for years. And anybody that knows me, I've recommended these products for years. I just now created an Amazon storefront and you guys can go there and find the, everything that we use right there. Um, but again, I tube feed um, there. Don't just try it. <laughs> without doing any bit of a research because you can do more harm than good. Um, you have to know what you're doing <laughs> um, when you're tube feeding. It is easy, but you got to know what you're doing or you can kill the puppy. Um, so please research that. Re research it. It's it's not complicated. You just have to know what you're doing. Um, and again, oxygen. I'm all for oxygen, but don't just stick a puppy in an incubator and crank the oxygen up. Oxygen is meant to supplement or support. If you're turning it up, you're taking away the need for that puppy to breathe on its own. You're doing more harm than good. Turn the oxygen on the lowest possible setting and it is more than enough oxygen to help your puppy, okay guys? Oxygen is not always needed. Let me just say that, it is not always needed. Um, again, fading puppies, make sure your puppies are warm. Um, give them, make sure they don't get dehydrated. A sign of dehydration is pulling behind the, the neck of the puppy and the skin, the fur will go back down really, really, really slow. If I see that, I'm going to do an under the skin, behind the neck injection um, of fluids. 
I get the fluids from my vet after the C-section because they're already using them on mom. I'm already paying for it. I'll take that home. Um, you can get sub-Q needles. I give a one cc underneath the skin. Very easy. Um, helps with dehydration. Again, there's electrolytes in here. Also helps make sure that you got something, energy, some calories going for that puppy. Um, I stimulate it. I make sure that it's warm. Um, and then I do that every hour to every two hours until that puppy turns the corner. Does it always turn the corner? No, unfortunately, it happens. Um, but as long as you do everything that you can do in your power, some people like liver water. They boil beef liver and then they take the water off of it, cool it off and give the puppy a couple drops under the tongue. I don't, I know a ton of breeders that do. So that's something else that you may wanna try. Um, again, make sure that that puppy is warm. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I like Fading Puppy Support and Breeders Edge Foster Care Formula. A lot of people like goat's milk formula. This works for me, that works for them. You make the decision for yourself. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, if you want a um, ebook, I have an ebook on my website, northstrongfrenchies.com. Under 10 bucks, it gives you 13 years worth of breeders' tips, notes. I talk about English. I talk about French Bulldogs. I talk about supplements. I talk about feeding. I talk about common problems. I talk about time to breed, time to whelp, my must have structure. You name it, it's in that ebook. Uh, NorthStrongFrenchies.com. Scroll to the bottom, click buy now. It's under 10 bucks. Um, I still have my first set of notes that I got from our very first breeder that we ever dealt with all the way back in 2011. I still have those notes. Um, I've gotten good feedback on the notes. It's also included in my mentor program. But if you don't want to go through that and you want a quick, you know, how to, a quick, what do they do, a quick, you know, what do I need to get ready for my litter? How do I know when it's time to um, have the puppies? How do I know when it's time to breed? What do I need to get? All of that is there, guys. NorthStrongFrenchies.com. Scroll to the bottom. Click buy now. If you've liked this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If there's a topic that you want to see, just message me. Let me know. Follow us on our TikTok. We often have lots of discussions there. Um, and of course, we have new puppies available. NorthStrongFrenchies.com. This is our in-house chaos in Sydney litter full of quality, message me or go to the website. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you soon.